Hey guys, it's Melissa and today I'm gonna show you how to get this glossy eye. Alright, start off, I'm gonna be priming my eyes with this NYX Full Coverage Concealer. And I'm just putting this all over my lid, very light layer, and then blending it out with my finger. Now I'm going into my Morphe 35OM palette, and I'm just going to set that concealer with one of the lightest shades. And now I'm taking the lightest orange shade from this palette and I'm putting that all over my crease. This is going to act as a transition shade. It's super light, so it's not too crazy orange. Now I'm taking this ColourPop Pressed Shadow in the shade Best Coast Scenario and putting that a little bit lower than the transition shade with the same brush that I was using before, which is the Wet n Wild Crease Brush. And I'm just putting that all in my crease. Now I'm taking one of the darker orange shades, still one of the lighter ones, but it's a little bit darker than the other one. <laughs> and I'm putting that in my crease. I'm using a little bit of a smaller brush and I'm going a little bit lower than the other color that I just put on. And now I'm taking one of the darkest shades. This is like the second darkest shade and focusing that on my outer corner and then bringing the excess that's on the brush into my crease, focusing lower than the first color before that. And now I'm taking the darkest orange color and I'm gonna focus that specifically on my outer corner. Then I'm taking this ColourPop Pressed Shadow in the shade O oh Ship and putting this all over my lid. Now, right here, I went into my Take Me to Brazil palette and I took the red shade and the black shade, mixed them together, and I'm just using this to deepen my outer corner a little bit more. Okay, now I'm going back in with that light orange shade and I'm gonna put this on my lower lash line. And then I'm taking the ColourPop Shadow Best Coast Scenario and putting that on my lower lash line as well with a smaller brush. And now I'm taking Oh Ship from ColourPop and putting that a little bit closer to my actual lower lashes. And I mixed a little bit of black with the red again and put that very close to my lashes. And then I blended it all out after this. Right here, I'm taking the highlight shade Gold Digger from Kristen Lee Co Cosmetics and putting that on my brow bone and my inner corner. I tried to be extra glowy for this look because I thought it'd look really good with like a glossy, super glowy feel. You feel me? Do you feel me? And now I'm taking this Wet n Wild Lash Renegade and just putting that on my lashes. And 
and then I decided to do the rest of my face if you want to know like my whole foundation routine I have a video on that if you want to go check that this highlight shade is the same as my brow bone and my inner corner gold digger from Kristen Lee cosmetics pretty sure I have a code with them I'm pretty sure it's eclectic um so yeah if you want this highlighter it's really amazing honestly it's so pigmented I probably like just tapped my brush in it and got that crazy pigment so these highlighters are really amazing she makes colorful ones mostly but honestly just go get it because it's so good and these lashes are certify lashes in the style Cosmo and then here I'm just putting a clear gloss on And then here I'm putting the clear gloss on my lid and this gloss is actually from the dollar store it's from a brand called color mates and it didn't crease my shadow at all it didn't move it at all so that's like perfect it just stayed in place and that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time with a new video all my social media is in the description below and I'll also put my discount codes there if you need a discount you know <laughs> bye